Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so much as always for all of your wonderful support that you guys have been showing throughout the series. I really do appreciate it. Now I'm going to apologize in advance ladies and gents because my voice might not sound as maybe enthusiastic as it usually is and that's because I actually woke up with a little bit of a sore throat this morning. Don't worry, it's not the freaking dreaded. It was just a basic sore throat, nothing to worry about. Out. But it just means I need to take it a little bit easier today. And you know what? Taking it easy is exactly what we're going to go and do. Because you might notice there's something missing here. Hmm? What was here? A little bee farm. Where are all the bees? They're in these little bee nests. What are we going to be building in today's episode? A proper little apiary. That is right. It's going to be a fantastic time and I'm very much looking forward to it. So of course guys, if you're excited for today's episode, if you still want to go ahead and support the series, I would very much appreciate it if you guys would head down below the video and drop a like. Now, do you want to know something else that's missing, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, yeah, the villager. I did not put any light in here, and as a result, a zombie spawned in here, and the villager don got wrecked. So, yeah, and he was holding a freaking boat as well. The same boat that the villager was in. Oh, no! Oh, big rip. I guess it means we can go ahead and get rid of that crummy looking box though. And uh, yeah, it will open up the large area in which we're going to be building our apiary. This area here is a nice flat area. I figured this would be the perfect area in which to make our apiary. And you know what? That's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. Now, what are we going to be using? Azalea leaves. Guys, we're going to be using azalea leaves for this bad boy. So what we need to do is use the azalea bushes here and then simply go ahead and, uh, you know, shear all this stuff off because we're going to be using both the azalea leaves and the flowering azalea leaves because they look fantastic. Alrighty, guys. So we've got myself a bunch of resources here. We've got all the azalea leaves and various bits and bobs. I hope this will be enough. Huh, I don't actually know. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to go ahead and make a bit of a start on this thing. It's going to be a nice tall build. I was thinking maybe eight blocks tall. Seems like a pretty good amount of space to have inside. Nice airy space. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start with the azalea leaves here. And I was thinking all we do is just sort of make like a bit of a, a splodge shape, I guess. Like a bit of a circle, except not really a circle. We're trying to make it look sort of all natural. So, yeah, hopefully we can achieve that pretty darn easy like. Ooh, it's an interesting shape, isn't it? I was kind of going for a bit more of a circular shape, but it's almost more sort of ovular, isn't it? Huh. All right, well, I kind of like that. So what we're going to do next is basically add another level. We're going to start off basically only with the azalea leaves, and then we're just going to sort of go up layer by layer until everything's filled in, and then we'll start dotting in some of the flowering azalea, because I don't know about you guys, but flowering azalea, it's a very nice looking block. It definitely is. One of my favorite new naturey looking blocks. I love it. There we are. Time to start dotting in some of these here azalea leaves, the flowering ones that is. All right, I'll get this sort of randomly dotted around the place, adds a nice amount of color to the build, I'm sure you guys will agree. It looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, I really, really like that. All right, so yep, yeah, we've got multiple other levels to get done, and then that'll just about be it. And then we can start on the actual infrastructure down the bottom, uh, maybe get some more sort of log pillars going on, because obviously we need to support the build. And then, yeah, we can start on the interior of this thing. Well, I mean, I mean, technically, all of it's sort of the exterior, but you guys get what I mean. Start on the inside, I guess. Even though, again, technically, it's all outside, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Ooh, giant azalea canopy that's, like, almost floating. Wait, what the hell? I hear a dude. I hear a dude. Did you guys hear that? It's a glow squid somewhere. Where is he? Oh, oh. Oh, hey. Oh, God, what the devil? <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, you do that, Mr. Creepy. Since when the hell was there a creeper down here, man? All right, well, uh, yeah, let's go and do a little bit of that, huh? Oh, there's some resources down here as well. Huh, <laughs> handy dandy. Huh, rooted dirt. I didn't realize that you could get this stuff generate when you go ahead and bone meal these little azalea bushes into trees, huh? Okay. 
Well, that's kind of cool. It means technically we've got a renewable resource here. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty awesome. All right, well, anyway, so let's go ahead and get some little supports going on here. And then we should be pretty good to go ahead and work on some other bits and bobs with this thing, huh? All right, so going up rather like that. Very, very nice. All right, we'll have ourselves another pillar over here. Yeah. Oh, dude, once this thing is done, this area is going to look so freaking nice. Once we get these pathways in and sort of meandering over to the super smelter, yeah. We'll have a really nice looking area here. All right, guys, so the next thing we're doing is adding a little bit of an upside down oak stair trim to this thing, just to sort of give the build a little bit more shape. And once we've got that done, we're also going to add some little dangling lanterns off of the edge of these here sort of pillars here. So we've got a little bit of light going on, you know what I'm saying? Always good to have a bit of light on your builds and in your builds and wherever else it's needed, I guess. <laughs> there we are, the build's looking way cleaner already. Yeah, all right, well, I'm enjoying this so far. So what we're going to be doing in terms of the walls, because obviously we want the bees to pretty much be staying inside of this area at all times, we're simply going to use a whole bunch of oak fences, which is why you can see here, we got ourselves a freaking ton of wood. <laughs> yeah, it's probably even going to take more than that even still. But, yeah, that's what we're going for, guys. And it's going to be a lovely time. Now, what we're going to do here with this front pillar is we're actually going to make it into the main entrance. Alrighty, guys. So, let's go and get the walls done. It's literally just going to be oak fences. And then down at the very bottom is going to be cobble walls. I think that would be a really, really nice way to go. And as you can see, we're sort of doing it on the leaves here. So, it looks a little bit tidier rather than doing it or trying to do it at the very least underneath the freaking stairs. Which, to be honest, might look a little bit on the messy side. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. We should have a really clean and nice looking build once we have all of this done. So, this is an example of what we've got going on. Yeah. I mean, maybe every now and again I could poke a hole in there and just put like a lantern or something in there. It could make it look pretty nice, right? But yeah, you guys get the general idea. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these walls here done. And then we'll have a much better idea as to how big the inside of this place is actually going to be. Alrighty, guys. Cobblestone rim is going in. Uh, that totally rhymed. <laughs> I always knew I was the next great rapper. But anyways, there we have it. Oh, snap, dude. we got so much space in here. Holy smokes. All right, so taking a look at it from the outset. Ooh, it's big. It's very big. It's very big. All right, so what we're going to wind up doing on the outskirts here is probably just going ahead and sort of bushifying it up. Just, I don't know, stacking a whole bunch of leaves up against it. That could look really, really nice. Now, on the inside, what I was thinking of doing is very, very simply putting down a whole bunch of moss and then spreading it all around. So we have like a really, really nice amount of greenery in here, right? All right, so next up are some dangling lamps for the exterior just to light up the build a little bit more. So let's go ahead and whip out these bits of cobble here and then eventually we're going to have a uh, cobble fences with the lanterns dangling off them. So let's go ahead and begin on a little bit of a dang here. We're going to jump up top here. Going to add ourselves in an upside down stair there. We're going to have ourselves another stair that goes out sort of like that with another stair rather like this and then a little block rather like that or more to the point a slab and then we can add in the lighting. So let's Let's go ahead and do that. Wait, is that a little bit too low? I think that's a bit too low. Maybe we just do it sort of one down and then we put the lantern. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, this is the little lantern lamp design. We're going to go for all of the little pillars here. And once that's all done, we'll have ourselves a nicely illuminated outdoor area for the apiary. There we are. Just going ahead and adding in all of the little lamp areas. And then, yeah, that'll be that part of the build done. In fact, that'll be the entire roof done. Uh, one thing I do want to do, though, is I want to go ahead and spawn proof the tops of these stairs here. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and place down a whole bunch of buttons inside it. Hey, don't think I can't see you there, broski. Yeah, brother creeper. That is not your home, bud. There's supposed to be a bunch of bee dudes going in there. Not you. 
Nah, fam. You need to get out of there. <laughs> I keep doing little trips to Droplet Village, and every time I look back here, the build just gets better and better and better. Yeah. All right, well, anyways, let's do the little spawn proofing with the buttons here. Last thing I want is for anything to spawn up here, drop down, and blow up my butt. I ain't having it. I ain't having it. Also, I'm pretty sure I flew far enough out to the point where the creeper inside here should have despawned. Should have despawned being the operative phrase right there. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, come on. We'll have a look in just a second here. There we are. So that's that done. Uh, is he gone? Is he gone? He has gone. Okay, good, good. Right, next up is going ahead and adding in some stone bricks underneath the fences here to sort of, I don't know, make this place feel a little bit tidier. Alrighty, guys. Are we ready to do this? I was born ready to do this. This is one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft. Boom! <laughs> it's honestly like a get a whole instant garden in one click button, isn't it? Boom! There we go. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love this. This is so fantastic. There we are. I'll do a little bit of that. Obviously, we'll go ahead and sort of trim this up and tidy it up in just a bit here. But uh, for now, I just want to get this uh, mossy stuff spread all over the place. I want every single block to be covered here. Yes, that would be very, very nice. There we are. Do a little bit there. We've got a little bit over here. And, well, pretty much there we are. But one thing I don't want is all of this stuff in the entrance here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go and get rid of that. <laughs> Because it looks a little bit silly, doesn't it? And then we'll put the boss block there. I just want regular grass. And then, yeah, all will be well. There we have it. All right, good oh. And believe it or not, the flowering azalea mini bushes here, they're actually an item that the bees can indeed pollinate. So, yeah, it's pretty handy dandy if I do say so myself. But what I want to do is maybe spread this along to other areas. For example, over here, we don't really have much color going on. So there we have it. Uh, maybe this one here uh, could move to, I don't know, let's say there. And then, yeah. All is looking well. Uh, I don't think I want long grass. I, I'll have the single tall grass, but I don't think I want the double tall grass. Because that just makes it look a little bit too untidy, in my opinion. And now what we're going to do is start dangling a bunch of lanterns. Making sure all of the light levels are above 7. And, of course, we'll start getting the bee nests in there themselves. Alright, there we have it. I've managed to get the lighting into the point where there's absolutely no spaces for anyone to spawn. And, of course, we need to go ahead and do a little something something about some campfires. Now, thankfully, because we already have moss carpets all over the place, that makes going ahead and adding in the campfires way the heck easier, I assure you. Oh, it's raining. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, what is this, Britain? So all that's left to do, guys, is to go ahead and actually get the little bee nests added themselves. And, uh, well, this should be pretty easy. We're just going to go ahead and do something like that. There we are. Yeah, so we got nine of these bee nests, so we should be able to go ahead and get them all sort of spread around real nice-like. Maybe we'll have a nice high up one right there. Uh, we'll grab ourselves another one. Uh, maybe we'll have uh, maybe another high up one, actually. Maybe one right there. All right, and with all of those bee nests placed in, we can now go ahead and comfortably get all of the campfires added in. So, yep, there's got to be one under here with a carpet on top. That will still be enough to go ahead and not make these guys annoyed when I go ahead and take out their, uh, you know, their honey and whatnot, right? So we'll put another one right there. Now, thankfully, because I had just picked all of this stuff up from the old farm, I've actually already got, like, bang on the amount of resources I need for this thing. Uh, so we'll have ourselves another one right here. And you guys get the idea, don't you? You get the idea. So let's go ahead and get the rest all done. And what I think will really finish this off is a bunch of double tall flowers. Add a little bit more color into this thing, you know? Yeah, always a nice idea, isn't it? So we'll have another sunflower here, and we can start adding in a little bit of red with the double tall rose bushes here. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll have one in the middle there and one towards the back here. And what do you know? We have nicely distributed flowers and azalea and sunflowers. And oh, my goodness me. Just look at it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Ah, oh, absolutely fantastic. 
Oh, dude, I feel like we've done a pretty smashing job of that one. All right. So, to finish off the exterior, as I was mentioning earlier, we're going to go ahead and just add a bunch of leaves around the place. Nice and simple. Maybe bone meal the ground around here as well. And maybe what I'll do just to really sort of top off this place, at the very least, is we'll start getting the path blocks added for the path area here. And then obviously in another episode, we can maybe decorate the pathway and have ourselves something that looks a bit more complete. Oh, snappers. All right, guys. This thing is very, very nearly done. We've got a bunch of leaves sort of uh, sprawled all over the place around this and now all we're gonna do is another one of my favorite things in minecraft which is just bone mealing the ground around this place get ourselves a bunch of little flowers maybe some long grass and by doing that you basically give the effect that this build has been here for a long time you know it doesn't look so newbie i guess you know what i'm saying so we'll do a little bit of that there we are we've already got ourselves a bunch of path blocks down we could probably go ahead and begin on sort of weaving a pathway through here as well just to make the area feel a little bit more complete. And then, yeah, this area pretty much will be complete after that, actually. <laughs> And of course, there's one thing that probably bothered you guys and also bothers me. Uh, yeah, guys, we're hashtag proper builders around here. We need to make sure there's no freaking dirt slithers showing through. No, 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 no. If we're going to do things, we're going to do it properly, all right? So there we have it. We have ourselves the apiary up in place and ready to rock. Oh, snap. All right, absolutely fantastic. Well, I'm hoping that the bees will actually, you know, come out at some point, just so we can actually see this thing in action, and more to the point, get maybe a screenshot for the episode thumbnail and such. Uh, but they haven't seemed to have come out yet. Hmm. I don't know why. There's plenty of stuff around here for them to pollinate, so, you know, uh, pollinate. Do it! Man, such a beautiful sight, isn't it? Huh? This is not a bad-looking build at all. I really, really like this. Oh, right. It was like the afternoon slash heading into sunset. That might be why there were no bees. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that would certainly make sense. So just before finishing off, let's go ahead and do a little bit of breeding here with the axolotls. What do we have? Hmm? What do we have here? We have ourselves a white one. Okay. Uh, we'll have ourselves a pink one and a yellow one. There you go. Go ahead and do your thing, Budskies. It's you two, huh? All right. Do your thing. What have we got here? Another yellow one. Okay. Fair enough. And of course, just to end off today's episode, we do have the comment of the day. C. Randy says, Python, will you be uploading Vanguard to Python GB2 when it comes out? This is, of course, referring to this year's Call of Duty title named Call of Duty Vanguard. And uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I have several other channels that I also maintain at this point. I have, of course, my Python GB channel, which is active with Terraria content nowadays, and I've also brought back the Python channel, the newer Python channel. At the time we recording this video, there's only about 18,000 subs on there, but if you guys have been missing out on my ARC content, or want to go and check out any of my other content, like Call of Duty Zombies, that is the place to go ahead and do it. There's always links to those channels in the description down below, so if you guys are interested in any of my non-Minecraft content, then those are the places to go. Now, in terms of Call of Duty Vanguard, absolutely. Because Treyarch is doing the zombie side of that game, it means that we're probably going to have ourselves a very, very good zombies experience. I don't know about you guys, but I've really, really enjoyed the Cold War zombies experience. I think, honestly, I would go out on a limb and say it's my favorite zombies experience to date. Before that, it would have been Black Ops 3. But yeah, Cold War zombies is where it's at for me, and I'm very, very excited to see what kind of zombies experience they bring to the table with Call of Duty Vanguard. So yes, there will be some content going up on the Python channel. Not Python GB2, the Python channel, if you guys are interested in the Call of Duty content over there. So, for now though, we're going to go ahead and end today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and you haven't already, go ahead of course and drop a like. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell so you don't miss out on my future content. Let me know what you guys think of the build that we've done in today's episode down in the comments area down below. Do you think there's any improvements that should be made to this thing? Or do you think it is just fine as it is? I always welcome your guys' feedback, so head down there and let me know your thoughts. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!